Two years ago, the California Coastal Commission announced it would be shutting down off-road vehicle access to the Oceano Dunes by 2024. But this week, a San Luis Obispo County Superior Court judge ruled that the commission did not have the authority to do so. KSBY News supporter Jacob Dizon has details on how this will affect off-roaders. When Nan Lippett first learned that off-road vehicle access would be banned at the Oceano Dunes, she worried about how she'd be able to get down to the beach. She says off-road access has allowed her and others with physical limitations to fully experience the park, and on Thursday, she took a victory drive. I am truly grateful that we have this amazing place that is accessible for millions of Californians that may be disabled. By the end of the year, Lippitt would have no longer been able to bring her car to the shoreline after a 2021 vote from the California Coastal Commission sought to ban vehicle access. In response, the nonprofit Friends of the Oceano Dunes filed multiple lawsuits against the commission, and on Wednesday, the San Luis Obispo County Superior Court ruled in their favor. That victory says that the Coastal Commission must vacate their decision that it did in March of 2021, and they can no longer uh, close the SVRA and remove all the vehicles, and no longer can they close Pier Avenue's access to the beach. Sudi says the commission's grounds for terminating off-road access stemmed from environmental concerns that vehicles on the beach were a detriment to the surrounding sensitive environment. Some locals who were visiting the dunes Thursday said while they don't have an issue with off-roading itself, they have taken notice of its impacts. There could be a little bit more enforcement on some of the issues on the litter or the trash. Uh, the people that are burning fires and uh, just to minimize some of the some of the negative issues. Meanwhile, Bruce Van Bord of Finn's Seafood says when he first learned that off-roading could be prohibited at the dunes, he worried for the impact it would have on the local economy. You'd see a lot of mom and pops that are barely making it now go away. You'd see a lot of little restaurants going away. The impact from the, the person who comes out here with their off-road vehicle is just tremendous impact for the people. The San Luis Obispo County Superior Court's ruling found the Coastal Commission was not in the position to issue a permanent closure to off-road access, adding that their desired amendments must be made at the county level. In response, a statement from the California State Parks Department said they respect the court's ruling to allow off-road vehicle recreation to continue. Thursday morning, Nan Lippitt celebrated the outcome. I'm overjoyed that I will be able to continue to enjoy the coast. This is the only place, virtually the only place in the entire state of California where I can come and have a beach experience. I also reached out to the California Coastal Commission for input on the ruling. Their media spokesperson told me they're still reviewing that decision and could not provide comment at this time. In Oceano, Jacob Dizon, KSBY News. A state park spokesperson also tells us the department will need time to review the ruling before making any changes to operations at the dunes.